So I'm so proud of our body sex facilitators, <gasps> the women who are getting certified to run their own groups. I remember back in the day when I was talking to some of my more conservative girlfriends about doing the body sex, and I said, it has to be in the nude. They said, no, you can't expect women to come in and just take off their clothes without knowing anyone. Not only am I going to have them take off their clothes, then we're going to look at each other's vulvas. Oh, and then no. we're going to masturbate in a circle. No, it'll never happen. <laughs> it'll never happen, so forget it. It's not going to work. So now it's a huge success. Everyone has covered it, and now we're training women to do it across the world. Oh, I'm so excited by this. Every time another body sex woman gets certified, so it runs her first group. So we got an email today from Fabiola in Mexico City. This was her third workshop in two years. Oh, I love her. And I loved how she was talking about, and I'm going to post it on the site, how going into the weekend, she wasn't feeling confident at all. She wasn't feeling confident about her body image. She wasn't feeling confident about her orgasm. It didn't book out until the very last minute. She almost canceled it. And she questioned... I know we've talked about this and you've questioned it too. With all the, the craziness of the world in our lives, pleasure is a priority. Is this a luxury? Is this a little bullshitty? You know, there's so many other things to talk about, like equal pay and violence and all these different things. No. And then she realized that, that, that pleasure is the healing and that body sex and the focus on pleasure to heal negative body image, pleasure anxiety. Yeah. It's also a life philosophy. It's how we stand on our own. And well, I always want to put in the term to be able to have an independent orgasm. Why is that so important and why is that so healing? Yes. Why? <laughs> well, orgasm is the life force and it's, it is what generates the next generation. I mean, it is where if we come from. We come from sex energy. So when we say life force, we mean, I mean just that. It is the essence of life. You are alive. You have your orgasm, and it's like, oh, and it feels good. So you are alive in a moment of just pure pleasure. And connected to yourself. I, I think there's a wrinkle of self-knowledge in there. Oh, you really know yourself, absolutely. and you know how to stimulate your body to orgasm. Absolutely. It's a connection that can never be broken or undermined. Not really. Once, once it's there, once you have it in place, it's always there. You can't take it away from someone. Nope. Nope, it's mine. <laughs> <laughs> and we had another woman who's yeah. in the certification pro um, process write her sex essay, and she talked about how she always had orgasms with her partners. She never really masturbated, and she felt that that came from a lot of body shaming that she felt from her mother because she was curvy and had large breasts and, and was shorter and didn't have that kind of thin body type that's the ideal in the culture. Oh. And when she took the workshop and did the rock and roll orgasm, and she gave herself, she realized that that was like so healing for her because now she's having independent orgasms and sex became fun again, and she doesn't care about what she looks like. And, what other well, people it's think not that her. you don't care. It, is, it doesn't define you. That's a big difference. Of course we care how we look. But it, how I look, you know, does not de define me. I mean, there's a lot more to me than how I look. Got it? And if we could get there as a culture for young women, because yeah. you're only defined by how you're looking at something that's subjective. It's something that changes. You know, you're never going to look the same. You're... When I look at these videos and I go through all of them, I see us like two, three years ago and I'm like, oh wow, we look so skinny in that one. <laughs> or like, we look so well rested. Or wow, I had a great tan. You know, like you, and then there are ones where it's like, oh, I definitely was coming down with a cold. I look like shit. <laughs> so, oh, you never know? think you do that. You look at Yeah, old. and then I'm like, oh, we had had too much to drink and too much salt. We're so bloated. Uh -oh. <laughs> But to get to that point where it's not where I want to look always great, and like I always feel like it's good when we don't look amazing. Yeah, could we just be human? <laughs> be human and have an off day and have a bloated day and have an exhausted day. And by the way, I'm still worn out from the from getting that book off. The getting her memoir done. I know. <sighs> Sex so. by Design. I'll put in the link again. It's really... An amazing read. We have all the women getting certified read it, and they all say how it's just 
There is so much there. It's so truthful and honest. Ah, <sighs> the honesty. I'm breathtaking. My takes my breath away. I am now reading my book again. I can't believe it. I can't live. You can't believe it. it's your life. <laughs> I did that. I did that. She did that. I did it. I actually, and I didn't puff it up or you know. It and just, I think it started with independent orgasms because you had the same kind of trajectory. You start off with the groping with Bob and he's giving you the orgasm and then you go into the relationships and true love and then you go into the sexual revolution you realize people aren't, women aren't having the orgasms and then you become an activist and you start having your celibate periods and, and that's when a lot of what we do in the workshops. Yeah. And it was so much fun when I was, you know, with my my old dear old friend Mary, she ran a couple of groups with me. And the day before I had a long conversation on the phone with Sheila, who yeah. also ran some of the early groups with me. And wow, what a connection that is with because I mean Amazing. these women, they just you know, if you're first in command of which is what yeah. this is what this <laughs> Yeah. First in command. When you whoever is sitting next to you supporting you, it's so important. So all of the women who are running their own groups, get your buddy. Don't, I mean, you can do them alone. I have done them alone. But if you have a buddy that's doing it with you, you've got built-in feedback. And I think of all the connections. Like, the women that we have are stable of women. Stable They're so is. amazing. And so, like, you've ruined me for regular friendships because I'm just so impressed. And we're so proud of all of you. So, in the next year... We're going to be on DNR. We'll have lists of all the workshops happening all over the world that you can take part in. Oh. And we're also going to be booking two retreats, one upstate New York and one in uh, the south of France. Where oh. You can come and hang out with us. So stay tuned. Body sex is going global. Independent orgasm. We have gone global. It's, yes. It's not in the process. It's happened. <laughs> it's, and it's ongoing. It's continuing to happen. Global. <sighs> That's, remember when we first got together yes. and we had this image of the, the globe and that the lights would light up when... It's lighting up, baby. We've lit up the globe. Okay.